Where's the Camaro? Where's the M16? Where's the races on Kyle Perico? What went wrong with GTA 5 Online, the Criminal Enterprises DLC? Nothing. It's perfectly fine. It does have its moments. It does have the Kyle Perico nerf. A helicopter that really isn't that exciting. What if I told you that this isn't all the Criminal Enterprises DLC? Now, if you remember a little bit ago, it did say one DLC 2022. I don't think that was on purpose. I think this is a, a multi-part DLC. I think for once, Rockstar figured out if we drop all of our DLC on day one, it's going to die in two weeks like it normally has. So Rockstar is like, what if we drip feed or stagnant the content, you know, maybe every two weeks or every month, release more of the DLC, it might keep longevity in the game. Smart move on Rockstar's part. Now there is unreleased content that did not come out with the Criminal Enterprises DLC, and that gives me reason to believe that this is a multi-part DLC. Let's talk about some of the unreleased content, okay? Let's talk about it, okay? Um, I know there's a picture going around that a lot of you guys are racking your heads about. And we will talk about that. How many of you guys seen this picture? Put it down in the comments. If you have seen this picture maybe on another video or anywhere. Have you seen it on Twitter? This is Wild, uh, Wild Bricks um, Twitter, by the way. Let me know if you guys have seen this picture and put it down in the comments. And what this is, is this is a map on where to find the, the service carbine collectibles to build the M16. I've been to these spots seven times out of the day in the GTA game. There is no parts, none. Because the M16 is not in the game yet. It's not in the game. Now, I know you're thinking, well, Jack, I've seen a couple YouTubers that are playing with the M16 or a couple other people that have the M16. They got modded accounts. If you got a modded account, you can have anything you want in the damn game. You can have anything. Um, they get into the files, and they release stuff on their own, and that's why they have it. Um, I don't know if they disclose that or not. I don't really know, but uh, that's why they got it. But it is not in the game, so quit Going to these places, it's not there. Is it going to come out soon? We don't know. We really don't know. This is something that Rockstar Games is new to. They haven't really done this type of stuff before where they stagnate the DLC. Usually, they just drop it. They, couple, they do a couple of drip feed cars, and that's it. This time around, they're drip feeding content, uh, cars, you know, guns, locations. Uh, they're doing something different, and I'm not going to lie. I like different. I think this is a good move. I really do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Guys, if you are new, drop a sub. If you guys are enjoying this video, leave a like and share it out to the masses because the more likes, the more shares. Let's make it happen. More reasons to believe this is going to be a multi-part DLC. Well, these are a couple things that were unreleased in the GTA 5 Online Criminal Enterprises DLC. We got jack-o'-lanterns. Rewards, a horror pumpkin mask, pumpkin tea. So maybe when it comes around October, we're going to be looking for jack-o'-lanterns, which are pumpkins, in case some don't know, and uh, get the horror pumpkin mask or the pumpkin tea. Also, this is kind of an interesting thing, the LD Organics product. So guys, I don't know if you got the LD Organics van in your in your inventory. I had it in mine. They took it out. It's gone. I don't I no longer own the LD Organics van. So maybe they actually might release the LD Organics van later on through this update now also we got junk energy skydives so maybe we'll get a junk energy skydive shoot bag and the service carbine the m16 so these are things that they're going to add periodically up until the winter update everybody thought we were going to get luxury autos a brand new place to go buy cars in gta 5 online well, if you go there, it does say reopening soon. Not really sure what date it is, but this will be coming. So, therefore, it'll be another part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Everybody thought we were going to get racing modes on Kyle Perico. There it is right there. But guess what? It's going to be coming 
in another part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Some people thought we were going to get the Camaro with some integrated cop scene. It's going to come in another part of the GT Online Criminal Enterprises. So everyone out there right now, you know, they're being very negative about it. They're not excited about it. I'm actually enjoying the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it or not. Um, you know, I kept my expectations low. The quality of life is what really did it for me, and I, I think it's awesome. I enjoy it. But guys, have no fear. This will be coming. They didn't just put this in a video you know, they didn't put the M16 out there. They didn't put all that other stuff in there for nothing. It's going to come. When is it going to come? We don't know. So everybody, relax, be cool, chill out. It's all going to be coming when it comes. We don't know how Rockstar is going to work. We never have. We never will. They never talk to their community. They listen, but they don't talk to us. But we do got proof with this DLC that they are doing something different and I like it. I like it. Way to go, Rockstar. I'm, I'm very proud of this. I like this. I like the fact that we could have monthly DLCs or monthly updates or maybe two-week updates to the actual game versus one in the summer and one in the winter. I like these frequent updates. I think this is a smart move. I think this is a W for Rockstar Games. Also, I do think this is a way to make us hang out and wait till GTA 6 as well. I'm not that dumb, Rockstar. I know what you're doing. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. It does share it out to everybody. Um, if you have not subscribed, subscribe for more GTA 5 content. I go live every night, 10.30 p.m. Central. And I'm Jack Knight Finnegan, and I will see you on the next stream or the next video. Peace!